Christian Guzman pre-workout day two. Secret ingredient to good workouts. Pre-workout. We're about to take this pre-workout because I got a leg workout. Pre-workout, leg workout. That kind of rhymes, huh? No, no, no. It doesn't, bro. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, we're getting a scoop scoop today. Alright, this is bigger than the one from last time. For sure. No doubt. <clears throat> Alright, this time I only went halfway. We gotta walk in with the right mentality and all that. You really don't need supplements if you're working out. The supplements are just to help you. Um, you just need to focus on eating right, working out right, making sure you know what you're doing. But, pre workout helps. Yo, this. I don't know if y'all can see this. Whoa, wrong side, wrong side. This is like. It looks like Gatorade, kind of. Oh. Alright. But yeah. Day two, uh, let me show you guys the fit though, cause I like what I'm wearing. Low key, leg day be one of my favorite days because the outfits are insane. Well, I don't think they're insane, but the outfits are really good. Leg day outfit, long sleeves on top, black shorts, leggings, black socks, and some white shoes. All right, and again, I'm gonna sip on this. I'll see you guys at the gym. I'm gonna record leg day, baby. Let's get it, let's get it. That was clean. I'm gonna sip. Okay, okay. Okay, way better than yesterday. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. Welcome to this commentary. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these, so let's get right into it. Um, this is gonna be over my leg day workout. And uh, here you see me hitting the foam roller. Uh, this is from my second leg day in my split in my new split so uh my legs are really sore so coming into this i already knew i wasn't gonna want to hit any heavy weight nothing no prs no nothing i just wanted to focus on hitting a decent weight and doing it for decent reps uh focusing here on my form making sure i get the depth in there uh you know making sure i keep my chest up and my head neutral i wanted to focus on getting in those reps that way i build the most muscle mass for my legs and I was able to do it. Really proud of myself for that, and it worked out really good. Uh, going on to the second movement of this workout, I had a leg press. Um, here, a few tips. On the platform, don't go too low, and don't go too high. Try to be right in the middle, and keep your legs shoulder width apart. That way, um, it's the most comfortable. I feel like it's best, it engages the most, like your quads and your hamstrings and your glutes. Um, but also focus on pushing the weight through your heel. Try not to engage your toes. Just use your heels to push the weight and use your legs. And just focus on pushing it all the way to the top. Get the depth in there. That way you're working your legs the hardest. My legs are really smoked right here, as you can see. I remember this was like, my legs were burning. And it was only my second workout movement going on. And it was, it was a tough one. Um, third movement of this workout was a leg extension. Uh, again, focus on the negative with this. So explode up and then come down slow. Explode up and then come down slow. Um, the negative part of any movement that you do is where you tear the most muscle fibers. So that's where the most growth takes part. And I also did hit uh, hamstring curls as well as well as calves. But um, I was really tired. I was sore. I didn't feel like recording every single working set that I did. So that's why I didn't record those for you guys, but I also did hit those besides just the squats, leg press, and leg extensions. Um, here I'm just talking about how I hit, um, I'm about to hit walking lunges. Walking lunges is a new exercise that I just incorporated into my leg workout. I do it at the end. It's kind of just like a finisher. It's uh, really taxing, but it engages, it, it's really good for your legs. Um, um, I just go up and down. It's uh, 10 on each leg. So I just go up and down this um, little trap, like this little turf area right here. And these are really killer, especially once you start adding weight. Um, these get really, really hard to do. Like it's especially at the end of the workout when your legs are already done. But it's like, um, it's good to add extra movements, take out movements, swap in different movements. It keeps your workout routine refreshed and it shocks the body. 
Um, and these are really good for muscle mass. So um, I highly recommend them. Um, that's going to be it for this commentary. Um, I'll catch you guys up later in the other commentary that I'm about to do. Pre-workout. Two scoops. Two scoops. Good morning, guys. Today is Saturday, June 22nd, and uh, it's currently... It's currently 8.40 in the morning and I'm about to go work out with my boys, so um about to make this pre-workout. Um, I'm going fasted kind of because it's early in the morning and I don't like eating big meals during early in the morning, so, and I kind of just woke up, so, um, yeah, we're about to go knock out this arms and shoulders workout. Hopefully, it's not that packed. I'm pretty sure I'm still getting footage, even if it is packed. But hopefully, it's not that packed, so it's less awkward for me. But it's really bad right now. It's like raining. It's like it's like sleeping in weather, bro. Sleeping in weather. So hopefully, everyone stayed home, so I could go work out in peace and record myself for you guys. Been on my boy, cause. He just woke up, so and we're supposed to train at nine, and it's eight forty. So I'm just waiting for him to hit me back up and be like, "Hey, I'm on my way to the gym. That way we can meet and we kill this workout." But yeah, I'll catch up with you guys at the gym. All right, and since my bro is taking a little longer, it's gonna take a little a while. It's gonna take a while. Um, I'll go ahead and make myself like a scoop of protein just to keep me. Uh, it's, wow. Um, just to hold me over the workout so I'm not thinking about food while I'm working out. And I did layer up as well. So I have this long sleeve on and underneath I have my short sleeve because it is a little cold and I don't want to, I don't know. I just want to feel warm, you know? But yeah, uh, that's that. Catch you guys up in the gym for real now. Peace. All right, and coming back for the second half of the commentary, I was just gonna leave these raw. I'm gonna just, I was just going to let these clips just play by themselves, but I want to talk to you guys, um, and give you guys a couple tips on some of these, some of my favorite workouts. This was from my arms and shoulder workout, something I haven't shown you guys in my YouTube channel, but um, this is my favorite day from my split, and yeah, I'm gonna take you guys through it a little bit. Um, right here, um, we have a straight barbell curls. Um, these are really good. I always start off with these. This gets a good pump on, on my bicep, gets them going. And uh, something to focus on here, come down slow. Um, here you see I have a little bit of sway, but that's because the weight's a little heavy and that's okay. I think it's okay as long as you don't break perpendicular. So right here you see me sway a little bit to the front, but I never break my back. Like I'm not arc arching my back to try to get the weight up. Um, I just use it to get a little bit of momentum and pick it up and then focus on bringing it slow on the way down. Um, the second movement that I did in this workout was uh, side lateral raises. With this, you don't have to go super heavy on the weight. I'm doing 20s and I think that's a little heavy. Um, I might need to go down to 15s just so I keep the form. Um, the goal with this is try to keep your wrist below your elbow. So always keep the elbow above your wrist. That way you're engaging the most possible. Like that way you're engaging your side lateral the most and not involving so much form. Uh, another movement that's one of my favorite, this overhead tricep extension. Um, focus on getting the depth when you're coming down with it and then explode at the top. This is really good. It's one of my favorites, like I said. And yeah. Um, f another movement for um, biceps, um, these hanging preacher curls. I like doing them hanging. So most people do it the other way with the bar where it's on angled, but I like going this way because you're literally just hanging and you take out the momentum that you could gain if you were sitting the other way. So you minimize the shoulder engagement and it's just strictly bicep. Um, here, like I said, focus on coming down slowly, squeeze at the top, really squeeze at the top. That's where you get, that's, it feels really good and engages it really, really, really well. Um, second movement for my tricep is skull, crusher, skull crushers. And here you're gonna notice, I don't start right from right there, that position, I lean back a little bit, and then I start. That way, um, this helps me 
engage my tricep throughout the whole movement because there's always tension. You know how it's leaned back? There's always tension on my tricep there. Instead of keeping it and coming like at a uh, at the very top of the movement, you know, where I just have my arms straight up and they're not angled. Since I have them a little bit back, the tension is always on the tricep compared to like if it was to be right there. Um, my fourth movement was the shoulder press. Um, here, I was going for like a decent heavy weight for me. Uh, these were my last reps here, and uh, I only hit 50 for six, but on this next clip that I want you guys to watch um, without me commentating over it, um, well, I'm going to let it go first. And there we go. So, okay, as I was saying, um, I like to keep my reps between eight to 10, right? And uh, with that weight, the first time I attempted the 50 pound dumbbells, I only hit five. And um, I knew it was like a mental thing. Like it's always a mental thing. Like I was in focus, I was distracted. Maybe I was looking at the camera sometimes and that's why I couldn't do the eight reps the first time. But I gathered myself together and then I did, I was able to hit eight reps. That eighth one was grindy, but it's okay because I still hit it, right? And uh, here we have my final bicep movement, dumbbell curls. This is the best. Uh, this is my favorite out of all of them. Favorite um, bicep movement because it just it's it's a mass builder. It's one of the best, the bread and butters, and I highly recommend this movement. Uh, keep it ten to twelve. Um, focus. I'm going slow. I'm going actually a little bit of fast. I'm like critiquing myself as um, commentating over this, and I, I think I'm going too fast. I need to focus on coming down slower and then just doing the full range movement, stopping at the bottom and then going with the next one, not cheating and trying to get momentum on the other side as I'm not, as I'm ending the movement with the other arm. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense in my head. Um, going on to the last movement, we have a uh, tricep extensions. And with these, just focus on locking out that bottom part of the movement, squeeze at the bottom, make sure you get that that's how you engage it the most and it feels it just feels really good um i appreciate you guys for watching if you made it this far into the video i'm gonna keep uploading stuff for you guys and hopefully we all make some gains hopefully you learned something from this um like comment subscribe all that good stuff i appreciate you guys and yeah catch you guys up on the next one